Hi everyone, this is the video instructable on how to make the cam toy body. First shape we're going to import in the work plane is going to be the box and it's going to be size 2, 3 inches by 2 inches. Height should be 1 inch if for whatever reason it's not 1 inch, please change it. Um, second shape we're going to import is the box hole and this one is going to be 1.75 depth and 2.75 width. Once you have that, select the two shapes, align them, align two, and select the center on both sides. After this, you can group them together. Third shape is going to be another box. This one's actually going to create thickness for this top and the reason we're doing that is because we had some issues with the rotating pins at the top in order to prevent a lot of wobbling we had to increase the thickness so the size of this is going to be three inches wide one eight inches deep i believe that's 1.25 and the height should also be one inch and the way we're going to align this is we're going to press on the work plane click on top of the box click on the extra shape and press D on your keyboard and then we're going to select both of the shapes and we're going to align them we're going to align to this box click on that click on one of the corners right here and everything else should be aligned as well. They're all grayed out, so we're good there. Click on the work plane, click on the work plane again, and then click on the surface. Select the two shapes and group them once more. Great. Fourth shape is going to be a cylinder. You're going to change the um, diameter of this to 2.28. All four sides. Then you're going to copy and paste it twice because you're going to need three of these shapes. So two, those two you can leave alone, but one of these cylinders, we're going to increase the height by four inches. And once you've done that, Grab the rotating tool up top, and then you can hold down shift as you're doing this and we'll snap to 45 degree angles. In this case, we're going to stop it at 90. Once we have it there, we're going to select the longer cylinder and the cam body, and we're going to align them to the center. And then we're going to click on the body and align to that center as well. Uh, make sure your snap grid is set to 1 8 and after you're aligned your cylinder you're actually going to reselect it again and you're going to use the right arrow on your keyboard make sure you're in this view because if you're not um, actually depending which view you're in it moves the shape in that general direction so when you're in this view you're just going to move it down once and that should be centered where it needs to be Great, two more shapes to move. I'm actually going to delete one of these because it will be easier to duplicate it once it's rotated. Copy, paste. Great, we're going to align these two shapes to the body. They're already aligned to the center. Make sure that little dot is gray. And then from here on out, you can actually select the shapes individually and then use the left and right key arrows to move the holes to where you want them to be. So if you really wanted to have them be like a little bit closer, you could do that. If not, just leave them there. Once you're done, reselect everything and 
group. And you do not need to rotate this piece because even though this is the bottom and this is the top, this is going to be um, the way you print this piece. Export is an STL.